what up, my extraordinary people? You're in the den with Aaron EBM. You've seen the title of the video, Hubert Davis Says the Unthinkable. Before we get into the video, you're going to have to understand who Hubert Davis is because in all actuality, I didn't know who he was either. So Hubert Davis, former NCAA basketball player in the 1980s, former first round draft pick of the New York Knicks in 1992. So the brother, the brother has some skills, obviously. I'm not going to downplay the fact that he had a decade under his belt of being assistant coach at the University of North Carolina. You know, on this channel, we're all about less hating and more celebrating, especially in our community, because there's a lack of it. Hubert Davis gets promoted to head coach. We're all ecstatic. Everyone's ecstatic, especially me. You know, I'm always the first one in line to celebrate and congratulate our brothers and sisters on those monumental achievements. Well, you know, what's the, what's the problem? What did he say? I'm going to just get right into it and show you the video because I'm done rambling. Let's go. It's significant that I'm African-American and I'm the head coach here. Yes, it is. It's significant. Um, I know that in terms of Division I head coaches all around the country, only 26% of the head coaches for Division I men's basketball are compromised by minorities, specifically African Americans. I know that it is significant. Correct. That I'm the fourth. African-American head coach in any sport in the history of the University of North Carolina. I'm very proud to be African-American, but I'm also very proud that my wife is white. Hold on. Hold on. Did, did I hear that right? Did you hear that right? Let's, let's, let's rewind and see. Let's... But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. Bruh. My wife is white. That my wife is white. Is white. It is significant. You seen it just like I did, folks. You heard it and you seen it just like I did. Very proud that his wife is white. Now, for some people, you're going to ask me what's wrong with that. And if you ask me what's wrong with that, you don't need to be on my video. You need to go back and do some research. And it didn't come back and then talk to me about what he said wrong. But, you know, you know I went from being ex ecstatic about this brother's accomplishments to being disappointed uh, disappointed in 0.3 seconds and that was a record for me because that nothing like that ever happened that quickly and it just shook me um and, it, and, it, and honestly it was a little cringe worthy i can say if you're white you know and, and if you're black you, sh you should all cringe and if you didn't cringe just a little bit you got to take some introspection in your life and see what the heck is going on this brother had the opportunity for his words to be written in the halls of history, to be to be accept, to be celebrated, and to uplift young brothers out there that were trying to achieve something that he was trying that he had tried and succeeded to achieve to achieve. Now he had that opportunity, and let's speak basketball term. If this was basketball, it would have been an up and down. If this was basketball, he would have traveled. If this was basketball, it would have been out of bounds on Hubert Davis. And I can, all, and everybody could, I believe, could agree with me on that subject. And if you don't, let me know in the comments why you don't agree, and then we can have a conversation about it. But who asked Hubert Davis? if he was proud that his wife was white. Was was that a panel question? I don't think it was. That had nothing to do with your accomplishment, sir. And I can say for, I can proudly speak for our community that, sir, your words were appalling. And if you don't take, and you don't take some responsibility for what you said, shame on you. I honestly feel bad for his wife because I know she did more in their lives than be white. And, I sh and it should be more that he's proud of about his wife than being white. And uh, Miss, I don't know who you are, but for my end, I apologize for you. I shouldn't apologize for Hubert Davis, but I do because it's more, we're more than that. We're more than just appreciating somebody for their skin color. He should pay more respects to you than just announcing that you were white. So 
I'll give you that. The, the conversation that you often see between black men and black women when they say black men date outside the race for totally different reasons than uh, black women. You know, their, their belief is that the black men date outside the race for reasons that are more carnal, while black women date outside the race because they have a hard time finding genuine love. And if you look at this video, this can obviously be ammunition to that. Um, how could it not be? You have a man, a prestigious man, get up in the middle of the, uh, the world, world video, world TV, world news, for him to say that he is proud that his wife is white and he is proud of his biracial children. What does that have to do with your accomplishments? Even the brother that played um, Luke Cage, which, which is also in an inter interracial relationship, said that he was with his woman because she was down with him since day one before he had anything. And you all, you guys all know in, in, in the manosphere, how a lot of these modern, modern women will not bat an eye to tell you that they don't want to be with a man that is not on his game already. That will not be with a man on his come up that wants a man, a six figure man or a high value man, right now and will not settle for anything less so to find a woman that will be with you from day one it's, it shows that she is with you for the right reasons for what we can see and right here brother i am a sh i'm just ashamed that that you would get here and pretty much tell the tell the big men up in the sky boxes that you're you're black but you're not black black and that there's nothing to be afraid of because there's nothing I cherish more than my white wife. And to keep my white wife, I have to put 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 her on the forefront above my accomplishments, above what she does for me as a wife. And just tell you that, hey, I'm not a scary black. I'm not that kind of black. But I am the black that loves the same thing you love and will protect it always. Well, guys, that is it for the day. You already know what time it is. This is not my full-time job. So I, when I'm in here doing this, I'm working overtime, doing it for you, your entertainment, and your well-being. So the least you can do is hit the like button for me, help me out with this YouTube algorithm, and help this channel grow. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.